So today I'm building clickbait thumbnails in vanilla Minecraft using redstone. Cause like come on, some of these are way too cool not to exist in vanilla. But yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm probably going to be starting off with the B-Blocks 3x3, and that's probably the most infamous one out of all of these. Oh wait a minute, okay that's better. Alright, so the layout should be pretty simple, just doubles right here, and right here. And then just singles. I guess like that. And this works as the input. Somehow. Oh, and also because I'm me, I will be making this fast. Because I like doing fast stuff and I'm kind of known for that. Yeah. And like, people have also made fast ones before, so this is really nothing new. But I just wanna make mine like decently fast because I don't like slow doors, they're very, very cringe. Alright, so I think this should work as the input, so when I activate this, it instantly does a zero tick. And because it's a button input, it does two pulses, so I need to let the first one through, then block the second one, like that. Yes, that's good. Okay, so I just added this uh, piston with a redstone block, and it's a bit difficult to explain, but it should do the last moves. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's good. That is really good. Alright, so I think I just made a circuit that stops this from powering when the button turns off. So let me try that. Yes. That's very good. Oh, that's unsync. What? Oh, what? Really? What updates? Oh, okay. And I'm guessing it updates on the... Yeah, there as well. Okay, I just need to do this some other way. Okay, after doing a lot of tweaking, this should hopefully work. And opening. Oh, come on. Okay, now it might actually work. And that might work. I think it works. Okay, fixing this is getting way too annoying, so I'm gonna do something cheery. Alright, that should work. Yep, that works. And yeah, I'm using the wall to power it, but I really don't care at this point. Because like, the wall's gonna be there anyway, so whatever. This was way too annoying and took way too long. And I'm even not that happy with the end result, just like, look at that bottom. Yeah. But let me also make the, uh, the room with the diamond blocks, like in the thumbnail. There we go, now it's perfect. This is so dumb, but I love it. But before we move on, tell me if you have any other clickbait thumbnails you want me to build in the comments below. Thanks. Alright, so next I wanna do this, in which you merge two slabs together and have like an immovable right here. Like I swear I've seen this in like so many thumbnails, but I only could find a few like when researching for this video. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And obviously you can't push them together, so I will need to do some other shenanigans to make it work. But yeah, that's what this video is really all about. And actually, this has been done before by a person by the name of the Commander Redstone, but his design was pretty slow, so I wanna just make a fast one. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna use this layout. It is not like as fast as possible, but it's decently fast. It's gonna be fast enough. So yeah, I'm just gonna start wiring this thing. It is not going to be small in the slightest, I don't think. But I don't care, it's not going to be good anyways, it's very, very useless. Alright, I made this, which uh, just does that. It's a bit weird to explain like what it's for, but it is needed. Yes. Okay, if this works, then I'll be very happy. So I should do that. <gasps> that is very good. That is really good. And... Yes. Nice. 
And now I just need to push this over, so push that over, and zero take it up. Alright, that shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, nice. Needs to be faster. Yes. Nice. Let me see that in full motion. That is satisfying. Alright, now to do this part, which is going to be way more difficult. Oh wait, I completely forgot that I need to actually make this extend. Like one closing. Okay, I guess I'll do that first. And now... Yes, very good. Okay, that should literally just work. And now... This one. There we go. Okay, now I can finally go on to doing this, which I'm not looking forward to, but it is what it is. ABBA. Alright, so I added some other stuff to the ABBA, so hopefully it does an instant extension now. It doesn't. Why not? Oh. Okay, now it should work. Let me just do slow more. Yes, thank you. <coughs> okay, so I made a thing. Let's see what it does. Yo, why are you not powering stuff? What? What? What is this? Oh, it's zero ticked it up. No, why? Why? Why did it do? Oh, why is it like that? It should work. It should actually work. Please work. Okay, I added stuff once again. Let's see what it does. Actually, it should do a bunch of things right now. Alright, that's not too bad. Yo, it works. And, yeah, nice. Okay, I did quite a few things. And I believe it should actually work now. So. Good. Mm, yes. And now the other thing. Uh, yeah. That literally works. Yep. Oh my god, just look at that. That is magnificent. <gasps> I love that. Dude, it, it merges the two slabs. You can see it in real time. Wow, so cool. This is what Dreadstone was designed for, this one build. It is just beyond stupid. And yeah, it's very, very compact, as you can see. Now I have two out of the three, so now it's time for the one you've been probably waiting for this whole video. But before I get into that, please subscribe. Thanks. So lastly, I'm going to be building the hidden staircase thing, in which the ground moves up, if you know what I mean. I guess I'll show like a picture. Alright, so I think the stairs are gonna look like this, in which you have these blocks coming up like this, and it's the staircase starting from here. And you can just walk down like that. Oh wow, a layout appeared out of nowhere. Very cool. Yes, I made pretty much all of this layout yesterday, and it just consists of a bunch of sliders, piston extenders, uh, it's kind of hard to show, but there are some. Okay, I, why is it so hard to show? There. There's an example. And just whatever these things are. It's not gonna be like as fast as the B block store or the whatever this is. But I wanna make it like, not like awfully slow. That's my goal. Okay, let's see what this does. I forgot to... Because it looked good, but I wasn't really... Yeah, looking. What? Yeah, I think that's good. Hmm? What? That's like one of the most difficult pulses. This one. And it just does it automatically. I mean, I'm not complaining, but like, I'm just very surprised. It works, but it's slow. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Yeah, that's pretty fast.
Okay, that's perfect. I think. Yeah, that's good. Alright, nice. This blue thing is now completely working. And next I'm gonna do yellow, I think. Which is just a block swapper in the floor here. So that retracts. Then those should push and it should push back up. Yes, very good. And yeah, that does the thing. And now when I turn it off, it should do the same thing, but just they should push. Oh, I forgot to reset it. But basically that should happen. And nice. All right, cool. Yeah. And then I just need to activate this and this and that's the whole closing done finally thank you mm, yep nice and it should do it on the uh, opening as well yep all right so now i just need to do Two more pulses, I think, and then I'm done. So close. Okay, this should be it. I'm pretty confident. Alright, let's see. So, closing works just fine. And... Yes! There we go. That is very nice. I just... I just love that. This is no longer just clickbait, it exists now. Okay, come on now, just look at this. Tell me that's not cool as hell. Dude, this is so nice. I just absolutely love this. It just appears. Oh my god. Alright, I'm very happy with this. I mean, the wiring is not like the greatest. There's quite a lot of empty space, but it works, and that's what I uh, was going after. Okay, boy.